Lady Gaga totally kills it with her new video, Telephone. Oh my god. I mean, it's mind-blowing how good this video is. It's artistic. It's, re it's like a really good storyline. It's like a Quentin Tarantino kind of style. It's like very Kill Bill-ish. I loved it. Um, of course, there's nudity. Of course, there's profanity. But I thought it was great. I thought it was a story that was really good. So speaking of Telephone, I'm going to talk to you about Telephone Etiquette. Because some people out there have no effing clue. Let's do this! Now you have the phone number. What to do? If you are the person initiating the call, make sure that you're in an environment that there's not a lot of noise. And then just think of it like this. You want to be comfortable. How would you talk to a friend and a person that you're attracted to? Okay, it shouldn't be some crazy stressful interview thing. It should be just a casual conversation to get to know this person. So here are some things that you should ask on the first call. Okay, things that you can talk about. You can ask about where that person's from. What's their background? Where have they traveled to? What do they like to do on their weekends? Do they volunteer? What type of activities do they like? The thing is, I just think of it as a casual conversation and someone's calling me right now. Who is this? And, and when you're talking, you want to sound enthusiastic about what you do because you don't want to talk to a monotone robot, do you? You want to be excited about what you're doing and stuff like that because you want to let your personality shine. Remember, the key thing is don't trip out. Like, don't worry so much. Be comfortable and just think of it like having a conversation with a friend that you're attracted to. So a little bit of flirtatious, a little bit of jokey here and there. But just, just be true to yourself. Things that you should not talk about or not ask. Don't ask what size boobs they have, okay? Because that's actually happened to me before. Lame. Never ask how much a person makes. That's just crossing the boundaries. You don't want to get into that shit, okay? Only talk about past relationship if it naturally comes up in the conversation. You're there to get to know this person. It's not like your life is going to die if you say the wrong thing. There's no such thing as saying the wrong thing. Unless you ask what their boob size is. That might be the wrong thing to do. If you are the person anticipating the phone call, make sure to not pick up the phone if you are busy running around or if you're stressed or if you're in a bad mood and you see an unknown number, don't pick it up because it could be that person that you've been waiting for a call for. And if you are in a bad mood, that gives us a really bad impression. I've actually had that happen to me once. That guy was on a, just had a really bad day and running around. He was stressed. He picked up the phone and he kind of like, he did unintentionally sassed me attitude and I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. And I never talked to him again. Point blank. Never have it. Mm, you lost your chance, buds. And that's how it is. Okay. So never pick up the phone if you are in a bad mood. Just let it go to voicemail and call them back when you're in a better mood. Another tip. Don't pick up the phone if you are in a noisy environment. If you're, you know, walking downtown or if you're in a bar or whatever it is and you're expecting a call, don't pick up. The same thing with this tip earlier is that you want to make sure that you're concentrated on this conversation that you can actually hear and have a conversation with the person that's calling you because first impressions are important and you want to make a connection. When you're towards the end of the call, make sure that there's some sort of like next step before you end the call. What does that mean? Let's go have a drink. Let's go meet for coffee. Let's go do something or let's have another phone call this week. And the idea is that you just don't leave it kind of like up in the air like, okay, I just had a phone call. There's no next step. What is to do? Take the action. Suggest the next step so that you can keep this baby going. And ultimately, you want to meet this person and have a good day. A couple of reminders. Remember, um, Thursday, March 25th, I'm going to do the live coaching webinar, meaning that you guys can come and register for this webinar. You can ask any questions, and it's a chance for us to video chat and for me to answer all of the VSTAR questions. I'm lo really looking forward to that. Another thing that I'm really excited about is my coaching scholarship. So this is something I announced yesterday on Vinay.com. I am giving one person, a special person in, in San Francisco Bay Area, an opportunity for me to coach you live and coach for free. It's a three-month program that I want to offer to someone who really needs my coaching, and I want to give back and do something very special. And so if you want to apply for this coaching sponsorship, make sure to go to the link. It's at vinay.com and tell me why I should pick you. Why should you be the recipient of my coaching scholarship? And I look forward to seeing you guys on March 25th. And you're going to see a lot of cool adventures for the Ford Fiesta. If you guys are in the Bay Area, make sure you get involved with me in the Ford Fiesta because it's going to be banging. And one last thing before I go. Don't be a repeater. 
You know what I mean. Like those people who call repeatedly or text repeatedly. Just do it once. Call them once and leave a message. Yes, they received your message. They received your voice message or text message. And they'll get back to you. If they don't get back to you, then F them. You know, you've got better things to do and you've got better people to meet. So don't get hung up on a button. You don't want to be that crazy, like clingy, weird person that keeps calling. And but you got better shit to do. All right. Just saying. <laughs>